What is an APK? Now a lot of you have found my channel via my BlackBerry content, and I'm somebody who's very passionate about using a BlackBerry 10 devices in particular. Now these devices are quite unique because you can sideload certain applications. Now there's a big caveat there. There are apps that will not work such as WhatsApp, but there are a host of different apps that will work. Now, if you're new to sideloading apps, this video is for you. If you're somebody who's experienced with sideloading apps, this might be a little basic, and we're going to go through step-by-step -step on how to sideload apps on your BlackBerry 10 device. These include devices such as the Q5, the Q10, the BlackBerry Classic or Q20, and the BlackBerry Passport. Now, in order to get started, you're going to need a few things. Of course, you're going to need your BlackBerry 10 device, and I would recommend having a micro SD card to add your applications to be able to install them directly from the SD card. You can do it other ways, but it is really not worth the fuss, and I highly recommend getting an SD card anyway, so that way you can have your photos or any media such as music stored on that memory card because the BlackBerry devices are quite limited for internal memory. You'll also need a computer where you can download and add your files to your SD card. Now, once you have all of these items, you can get started. Before starting to download these applications, it's important to know what an APK is. This is the file format for an Android package. This package includes all the files necessary to install an application. So essentially, you'll be looking for APK files to install on your BlackBerry device. Now, some of these files will not work, and it is really a treasure hunt when it comes to finding apps that work with a BlackBerry 10 device. Luckily, the BlackBerry community is quite active, and there are new apps being developed or modified every day. When I'm looking for an app to add to my BlackBerry device, there are three main resources I go to. I go to CrackBerry forums, Reddit, as well as Project Berry 2.0, which is a YouTube channel. These are three excellent resources, and there are continuous posts and updates regarding apps that work, no longer work, or workarounds. Now, getting started from zero, the best thing I recommend is going to Google and typing in an app that you're looking for. For example, if you're looking for Instagram for BlackBerry 10, I would type in Instagram BB10 APK file, and you'll see a list of results in Google. And if I select the first option, such as the CrackBerry post, I can see that there's a link for a specific file. Now, download files at your own risk. I'm not recommending you download everything you see, but honestly, I haven't had any issues yet Potentially my computer is full of crap or viruses, but honestly, I haven't had any issues. And if I select this first link and download the file, it will be on my computer and I'll be able to add that to my SD card. Now, the interesting thing about these posts for specific apps, you can see clues to lead you to potentially another list of applications. For example, I can see in this particular post, I see a lot of mention of X crazy S. This is a notable developer in the BlackBerry community, and he's always posting different apps that he's developed for the BlackBerry devices. If I type in his name, for example, in Google and BB10 APKs, I'll be redirected to a Reddit post, which links me back to a CrackBerry post, and I can see a list of apps that he has made available for those of you who want to add to your BlackBerry 10 devices. I highly recommend donating to this developer if you can, because he's really doing an amazing job. From this list of apps, the one app that I'm going to download is the Magic Earth app. I really enjoy this app and it works well on my other BlackBerry devices, so I'm going to select it and download it. Lastly, I'm going to look for a browser. I'm going to look for Chrome, so I'm going to type in Chrome BB10 APK, and you can see here that there is a link. I select to open it and I will be able to download this particular APK. So now I have a total of three APKs. I'm going to put them on my SD card and then I'm going to insert the SD card into my BlackBerry Classic or Key20. 
Once you have your SD card on your device, you'll be able to go to your file manager. And if you go to the bottom left hand corner and select the sandwich menu, you'll be able to choose your SD card. From here, you'll see the files that have automatically been generated by your BlackBerry device. But if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see the APKs that you may have added. From here, I'm going to choose my APK, such as my Instagram APK, and then select install. Now, if you're installing for the first time, you'll be prompted with this message to allow third-party apps to be installed. I'm going to select the settings and then I'm going to select this toggle to allow third-party applications to be installed on this device. Once this is activated, I'll go back and install my application. And once it's installed, I'll be able to see it on my homepage of apps. I can open it. And as you could see, it's working. I could log in if I had an Instagram account or I can create a new Instagram account. Now I'm going to go back to my file manager and I'm going to install my other applications such as Magic Earth by selecting it, choosing install. And again, I'll be able to see it on my homepage of apps once it's completed. And then lastly, I'm going to go back to my SD card, select the Chrome APK, and then choose install once again. Once I've completed the install, again, I can go back to my homepage and I'll be able to open and test these applications. Now be aware when you're downloading certain APK files, they may not open and they may crash. This means you'll have to find a different file. Again, I'm going to mention this is very much like a treasure hunt. There will be a lot of failures. There'll be a lot of apps that don't work, but once you find the app that works, it will feel great. I mean, I've used both Chrome and the Magic Earth app successfully for the past few months and I haven't had any issues. You may find that certain apps will stop working after a while and you may need to go back on a hunt for a working version. That's totally normal. But again, that's the cost we pay for using an older device. Now, another useful resource if you're into watching YouTube demonstrations is Project Berry 2.0. This is a YouTube channel which goes through and installs certain APKs and gets certain applications working such as Gmail. This is interesting because they show different methods on how to get certain apps to work such as Gmail. I'll leave a link to them below as well as the links I use to download these specific applications. If you're watching this a long time into the future, I'm sorry if some of these apps no longer work let me know down below and I'll try to do an updated version of this video. I really hope this helps those of you going back to the BlackBerry community and getting into the side loading aspect of using an older BlackBerry. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon.